on you, Wesker Blade Rise. Elaine, would you go to the for a word of prayer? <clears throat> Dear Lord, as we come to you right now, we just want to thank you for the beautiful day that you've given us, and we thank you for all these uh, people who are serving on the council and the mayor, dear Lord, for putting forth their efforts to help our community move forward. Thank you for those who have come out this evening because they care about the community. And we just ask that you would be with us in this meeting tonight, uh, be with the council to help them make the decisions that will be best for our community. And we just love you and appreciate all you've done for us. These favors we ask in your name. And before we get started, we'll just say that uh, we're sorry that we didn't see Mrs. Saturn here. And uh, we'll ask everybody to say a little prayer for Mrs. Saturn. She's uh, feeling a little bit under the weather. And then yesterday we had a little birthday for Jacob. So I say little, but <laughs> happy birthday. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. But uh, we'll go ahead and do the uh, roll call, John. Yep. Councilwoman Fletcher. Here. Councilwoman Vickers. Here. Councilwoman Nasbury. Here. Councilman Siner. Present. Councilman Dowdy. Here. Mayor Fletcher. Here. Court of Siner. Attorney Keener. What's up? All right, next order of business is the uh, minutes from July the 18th, 2023. So you have those in your packet. I expect to see a bunch of mistakes on that since I've been done. I do have one under the financial statements. It says recorder signer. Handed out for June. I did, correct. So I would have handed them out before. Okay. It says yeah. before the meeting. Yeah. Fair point. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Hand it down or left him with us yeah. before, he, before he took off. Thanks, <laughs> 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 I like that. I like that. Yeah. Do you have to use any of the retype? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> they spelled the name right, so we're good. It's not an M-A-R-K-H, that was good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think you did your name correct. Yes, exactly. Yeah. First thing I said when I came in. That's right. That's right. There we go. All righty, if nothing else, uh, we'll entertain a motion to accept the uh, minutes with one change. So moved. So moved by Jacob. Do we have a second? I'll second. Second by all those in favor signify and say aye. 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 Any opposed, like sign. So, all right. Next thing we'll have is the uh, July financial statements, John. Mm -hmm. You'll see that the July's income was uh, page two, 69,578.78. And expenditures for the month of 49,000. 541.16 for a surplus for the month, $20,037.62. Most of that was brought on by B&O taxes. Um, AP paid them $12,000. Um, Boyd paid some. Um, so most of it was brought on by that. You will see franchise fees of $3,090. That's the optimum, um, settlement, optimum um, um, franchise fee, but um, other than that, there really wasn't a whole lot of income or expenses out of the ordinary. All right. Any 
questions? Any, any questions from anyone? Mark, you good? Thank you, sir. Good. We'll say if I can give, give John and whoever go over that with me some one day. It was a little weird. You don't like what you do at home? No, sir. Oh, okay. Not at all. 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 This is a low budget. Yeah. <laughs> Mark said choose $5,000 or less. <laughs> All right. So, uh, with that being said, someone will make a motion. We approve the uh, financial statements as presented. I'll make the motion. We approve them. Okay. Nicole, second. Nicole, okay. All those in favor, signify up, say aye. Aye. Any opposed, like so. So, ordered. <clears throat> All righty. Uh, the old business, first thing we got there is the fall kids party. Uh, Molly, Nicole? We really haven't pinned up with the date yet. We need to uh, find out from Mrs. Burke what's best for them as far as, you know, because the kids. Um, but we thought about having it down at the playground. We thought about having like maybe hot dogs on the grill and chips and drinks, maybe snow cones or cotton candy, something like that. Um, we wanted to do it beforehand, but we did the street showers and everything, and everything was going on in Charleston and stuff, so we decided to wait a little bit. And I tried to call the school, but I couldn't get a hold of them. And our thing is, is should we do it on a Saturday, probably Saturday would be best for everyone as far as being able to have counsel there to help and either Saturday or maybe even a Friday evening, something like that. Yeah. We just figured Friday evening because of ball games, it wouldn't be a good time. Yeah. Yeah. Unless we catch it one day, but Saturday we're going to start playing ball too then. So mm -hmm. we got to. Um, we even thought about a Sunday maybe after church. Yeah. Thought that might be you know, baseball, <laughs> soccer, and everything else getting ready to mm -hmm. yeah. kick off and all that. So, well, I want you all just talk to her and then decide whether or not you think you know, after church or something like that's better. Have you tried to call up there this week? Yeah, okay. I ain't trying to call today. <coughs> they, they started yesterday, started mm -hmm. back. of course, she's been there longer now. I was gonna say there was cars there, yeah. We thought we'd caught her when we sent her to street show, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, we'll come back to that. Uh, I mean, if you figure something else between now and the next council meeting, just let us all know and we'll just do it. Okay. Yeah, because I mean, it might be before we even have the next council meeting. Yeah, because we're really kind of shooting for that end of September, 1st of October time. So, yeah. I'm not going to get something okay. in there. Uh, Next thing on there is discussion on West Reynolds Avenue. And <clears throat> I'm happy to say, and I went to the uh, sanitary board meeting today. I think we're almost ready for paving. So it's probably after about next week uh, that they uh, should finish up. They had, uh, I think, four more uh, gas meters to put in, and one of them was a brand new one. Somebody didn't have gas, and now they decided they wanted it. So, uh, uh, I had already talked to Joe Wiseman with Wiseman Excavating, and so he knew about where we were. And uh, uh, but uh, hopefully after next week we can get uh, West Reynolds Avenue paved. Uh, then it's really just getting uh, West Virginia paving set up to uh, be able to come up and get it done. So. Hey, let's get that done. Yeah, yeah, so finally after all this time, so. Uh, it looks like a mess out there. <laughs> it does, it does. Yeah. Uh, next thing on the agenda is the uh, car show information. And uh, I guess uh, I'll ask maybe who's gonna start that, Elaine? I'm just kidding you, Elaine. <laughs> <laughs> she says, where's Tim? Uh, you all had a meeting a couple weeks ago, right? Or a little, uh, just discussion? Yeah, it was just discussion, but we pretty much got everything. The only thing we have left to do is Ray and Tim are going to come out and measure just to see how many cars we could put if we angle them 
from 13th Street down. Seven. And I need to call for Porter Party. Yeah. yeah. I've got that on my list here. Um, we want to just go with Couriers again? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, just call them. And you've already got the band set up, right? So I got couple bands set up, that's what I was going to say. We got Santa Cruz in there on Friday evening, and then we got Josh Pantry on Saturday evening. And uh, I really was probably needing somebody to fill in a little bit of time on Saturday evening, so I'll pick somebody else. And uh, we got one of these bands, probably the best bands we've ever heard. You know, so we'll, we'll get one of those. And, uh, <laughs> bring them in and uh, then I had the porta potties. Uh, the, the bad news is is that the uh, stage from the county is not available. <clears throat> so we are going to have to rent a stage and it is going to be a rental. So we're probably looking in the neighborhood of around $1,500 or so uh, to rent a stage. Are you able to look into that other one that I sent you that information? Uh, I did because I just figured that's the thing. I was just going there for a few years. I can't yeah, Couldn't really see just buying something like that. <coughs> Usually, you know, normally, if we know early enough, we can get to the county stage, but it was already gone. So somebody else had already grabbed it. So. Uh, but anyway, so I think, yeah, I think we're ready. I know trophies are ready. The gifts and things are ready. Mm -hmm. uh, so we've got a lot of that stuff, you know, ready to go. Uh, so I think we're, we'll be in good shape there. Uh, we'll move on new business, Fall Town Yard Sale. Yeah, people have been calling and texting and everything and that. <clears throat> we always try to have it kind of like around the first of the month because of people getting their checks and stuff, but now like, they get their checks all kinds of times. So. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I was going to throw out October the 7th myself. I'll say, I, I looked at October 7th or the 14th, either one. Seven's good. Seven's good. good Y'all want to shoot for October 7th? October 7th works. Okay. So October 7th will be the uh, Fall Town Yard Sale. Huh? No. <laughs> uh, Next is Thanksgiving and Christmas dinners. Usually we have done the Thanksgiving usually about the week before or so. Uh, as long as it's not on the 18th of November because we're having a baby. <laughs> and I won't be here. <laughs> uh, we're having a baby too. The 19th. The 19th. We had a baby. <laughs> okay. So, so what's um, local would be the seventeenth the night before or you wanna do <coughs> Yeah, what about that? Seventeenth look good? November seventeenth. Everybody on council okay with November seventeenth? Friday. Yeah. Friday. Yeah. November seventeenth we'll schedule the Thanksgiving dinner. <coughs> One time. Uh, we usually do it at six. Is that good with y'all? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that works for me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then, how about Christmas dinner? When we usually do the parade? Christmas dinner, we have been doing it like the day before the parade. The parade is supposed to be on the night, every okay. second Saturday. So that would be the A. I'm sorry, Katie, what did you say? I, I just said, why did you say it was dinner? Because it was oh. Well, we wanted to talk to the council, you know, and have them look at some dates and make sure we got good dates. Yeah. So we good on the 8th? 8th for the uh, parade. No, the 9th will be the parade Thank Saturday you. night, but okay. Friday the 8th would be the Christmas yeah. dinner. The uh, at six o'clock too. What's your name? They good in there, buddy? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
you give a time for the parade? Here. What's that? I was asking about a time. I didn't know if you for the parade. Oh, parade! Yeah, we usually do it on the night, on the second the Saturday. What, what time? time? Yeah, what time? Uh, usually we've done usually six o'clock. Sometimes we've done seven, but I think six works better. Yeah, okay. two. So, so Christmas parade. I don't think we had that on the agenda. Did we? Yeah, well, we had Christmas dinner. Yeah. So put parade. Six o'clock on the night. Six p.m. lineup. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll do probably five thirty lineup. Five thirty. Yeah. Yeah. John Jacob getting going half hour. <laughs> yeah. Okay. yeah. And, and you know you can tell everybody that they're going to be here at five. Yeah, that's what happened to us this past year. They're, they're, they're going to be here before you want them to be. That's what happened this past year. So that, 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 that's, that's, that's going to show up anyway. So you know, so it doesn't matter what you put. Everybody just comes when they want them. Yeah. So that'll be the, uh, the times there. But uh, <laughs> does that is that look good there, buddy? Mm -hmm. <coughs> Uh, anything else there? Uh, is John and Jacob going to do um, the karaoke for the Christmas dinner? Don't know about karaoke, but we have the music. I don't know if you want us doing karaoke. Yeah. 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 Not John, I'll make you. Okay. And then what about a picture person? Can we get a picture person? Uh, Terry's usually done. And I'll ask Terry. Okay. I'll call him and make sure he's available. Okay. Last time we just ran out of time there. And, and, uh, uh. <clears throat> All righty. Next thing on the agenda is new ice machine bids. Uh, the ice machine we've got has been here quite a few years. Adam's worked on it. We've had uh, Hooten here working on it and everything else. I told him, uh, Adam here, what, two or three weeks ago. I said, just get us a couple bids, uh, find us something a little larger and everything else. Uh, we've got two bids, one from Modern Equipment, uh, price and everything there for the uh, machine the storage capacity is 320 pounds uh, from them uh, filtration cartridge and everything and all is five thousand seventy five dollars and 24 cents and that is from modern equipment the second bid is from hoot equipment which is who's been taking care of the one we've got it is a uh, uh, again another machine. This machine actually is 365 pounds storage, so it's a little larger. Uh, and the uh, freight installation and the uh, buy and everything is four thousand five hundred and fifty-five dollars. Uh, <clears throat> so. So did we get the same thing with it as we did with the uh, first one, filter and stuff? Yeah. Yeah. It's a little bit larger. Yeah, it's a little larger uh, box and everything on it. Now the um, Adam and I talked about you know where we're going to put this. We talked about back here in the back where we've got the one, but we do have and John and I was talking earlier and we was talking about <clears throat> we've had several people that's been in here said they'd like to have ice, and you know we don't give uh, the key out to the. Uh, uh, street department to anybody so you know no one's able to get in there but Adam and Adam and me and uh, uh, so we're talking about trying to see if we can't retrofit this back in the kitchen and uh, put it back here maybe to the right of the uh, refrigerator now and uh, where we can actually maybe might have to take a cabinet or two out I don't think Shirley's using any of those She's using the ones over on the wall to the hallway, but not those other cabinets. So you know, it's going to have to be uh, 
probably taking some of those out and then, you know, retrofitting that into there. Uh, that's getting kind of the uh, cart before the horse. Uh, you, you've heard the uh, reading of the bids and uh, we kind of like hooting and what they've done for us and everything else. Plus they've got a cheaper bid. It's $4,555. So what's the pleasure of the council? Yeah, sorry, go ahead. Okay. I'll, say, I'll go ahead and make a motion to uh, accept Hootie Equipment's bid for $4,555. Good, you have a motion to move a second. No second. Good, make the second on that army. Hootie's local too. Uh, yeah, I'm going to say modern. Modern, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes, yeah, they're downtown. But uh, all that being said, uh, all those in favor of saying aye. 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 Any opposed, like that, so ordered. All righty. Uh, we've got a request in the packet for Riverside Youth Soccer Clubs team sponsorship form. Yeah, and the uh, yeah, they're asking to be a proud sponsor of the team. The contribution is $250, if believe. <laughs> I'm trying to make my stuff quit working over here. <laughs> uh, to sponsor a team, it's $250. Uh, it's probably a great thing to do. And uh, so, what's the pleasure? I'll make a motion that we get Riverside Youth Soccer $250. Okay, got a motion by John. I'll second it. Uh, need, uh, Nicole seconded. $250 for Riverside Soccer. Uh, all those in favor of signal time say aye. 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 Any opposed, like so? So ordered. First thing we have is a budget revision. And uh, John, I want you to. Uh, Actually, if I may, uh, on behalf of Riverside Youth oh. Soccer, we do want to thank you for your contribution. Oh, we, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Um, we service kids all the way from Fayette County to Campbell's Creek, both sides of the river. Not only are we the cheapest club in the league as far as offering kids the ability to play, we're the cheapest youth sport in the area and makes it the most affordable and accessible to kids in this area to have activities to do. Cool. Yeah, thank you. We're glad to do it. Yeah. Are you the coach? I'm the president. You're the president. Okay. What's your name? Jeffrey Snodgrass. Jeffrey Snodgrass. Welcome, Jeffrey. Thank you. So John will put this through and we'll have a check cut and we'll send it up to the school. Is that good? I actually have a PO box. Yeah, it'll go, it'll go oh, okay. to the PO box. Okay, yeah, PO box 802. Yeah, and that. Yeah, we'll get it sent there. That's good. You can go ahead and order at least a set of uniforms with Town Bell. We'll sponsor one of those teams. We actually display a banner at both locations at the old junior high and at our Walter Field. Yeah. With list a logo. If you have a logo you'd like to submit, we'll put it include it on our banner and put it out there for all we display all those. Yeah. Sports on the marquee. Would that be Yeah. We thought we might have something on there. Yeah, I can check on I can check on the website. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if we have like an official logo, but check it's in yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, we can do that or just pick something up there. Okay. Yeah, we'll do something there. Thank you. Get something for you. Appreciate the effort. Glad to have you. Sorry I didn't recognize you. Didn't know who you were. Sorry, first time. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, welcome. Come back anytime. Uh, okay, so next thing then is the uh, budget revision number one. Okay, so this is uh, if you don't want to stay, you don't have to, but you know, feel free if you want to. Thank you. I got to get back a couple of grass. <laughs> yeah. All right. Good luck. Thank you. Yes, sir. <clears throat> uh, this is the first revision for the fiscal year that we're in now. So um, if you remember, when we set the budget, we estimate what our unassigned fund balance carry, carryover is going to be. So if you look, it says that previous approved amount was $850,000. Um, we're going to actually increase that by $332,195 to revise that number to $1,182,195. Uh, because we're increasing that, we also have to increase um, expenses so the budget will actually balance. So we're going to move general government. Um, previously was um, a budget at 150,000. We'll increase that 132,195 to 282,195. And we actually didn't um, budget anything for water and sewer. Um, we are looking at doing some more work on some more uh, sewer lines. So 
Um, I threw the other 200,000 um, in the water and sewer, so account number ending 806, to balance that budget. <clears throat> And, and just just for you know me and numbers, you, know, you you change the income numbers on the on the no, on our financial statement. I know, but I, you didn't change the well expenses. because I shouldn't have changed that number yet. Well, I agree. I got overzealous and changed it. And yeah. I didn't feel like I don't need to yeah. Yeah. So, but you didn't increase correct. the one fifty. Well, correct. Right. You're right. I shouldn't have changed that. Okay. All right. I knew one of those. It was. I knew one of the other. You know me and numbers. Yeah. I just start going over that. Well, look. I, the other I was going to go back and reprint that, and I thought I'll just leave it. Forget it. Uh, so. David will make comment in there. <laughs> Either way. Yeah. You know me and financials. I, mean, I love financials. But, uh, but no, that's fine. But uh, okay. With that being said, uh, we will need a. Um, Motion and a second. So, if somebody will put that in form of a motion that we approve the uh, increase of $332,195 to our budget. Okay, motion by Melody. Do we have a second? Second. Second by Mark. Uh, uh, so, we do have a poll vote, Gay. It's yes or no? Yes. Mark? Yes. The mayor votes yes. John? Yes. yes. Melody? Nicole? Yes. Jacob? Yes. Okay. So all yes. So motion carries and uh, John will send that in. Make sure we've got that taken care of. So thank you, John. Appreciate that. Uh, approval of invoices, not anything that I'm aware of. Uh, personnel issues, I'm going to bring up something here in a few and uh, we'll come back to that. <clears throat> Police Department report, I think you all have that in your packet. If you look at the last date, uh, 725, new person moved into an apartment, a women's shelter in Hunt, Charleston. He was aggravating a doll, which thus disturbed the neighbors who actually called him a doll. Yeah, I got a uh, phone call that day. Yeah. I get a bunch of phone calls. <laughs> Seems like you all know the mayor. So. <laughs> but anyway, uh, that's the uh, report from the police department for the month. So uh, uh, again, you know, uh, we've had pretty much, you know, the day shift officer, pretty much no night shift officer other than deputies and things like that. And last night he was out. Yeah, 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 yeah we did. Uh, I'm going to go over that in a few minutes. So I'll, take care of that. I'll take care of that little Dave Fletcher snafu. So, uh, and Dave will just eat that one all the way up after. So, uh, so anyway, we'll go ahead and uh, uh, I'm going to reserve mine for coming back and and uh, but I do want to make some comments. I mean, the street showers I think were great. Uh, Adam, we appreciate you all getting all that down there, down there, get it set up, and getting it taken back down quickly so that we can get our uh, teachers back into the uh, school parking lot. Uh, again, you know, uh, we've had the street chair going on, uh, it was pretty uh, great that we did not really have West Virginia water actually come back and say anything this year, uh, which we were all thankful for that, I think, and believe, uh, but uh, that was pretty good. 
Uh, the town of Bell cruise in and car show. We did do the uh, little leaflet this this month in the uh, uh, things that went out to all of our citizens. And uh, so you do have uh, the cruise in that evening, four to nine. We'll probably set the stage up and everything that afternoon and then actually get everything going. We'll have Adam and his crew out here uh, Friday night, September 15th, and hopefully we can get them out of there at uh, 9.30 or so, so if they don't have to stay till midnight or whatever, uh, as they did with the uh, town festival. So uh, car show then on Saturday night. Uh, again, we'll be there 9 to 3 with the cars. And then, but we do have uh, uh, music that evening on Saturday night, and we're scheduled to go till 8.30. So hopefully, you know, about an hour, hour and a half later, uh, might be 9.30, 10 o'clock, we can get Adam and the crew to go home that night instead of staying till midnight. So. Now we, we want the vendors there both nights? Yeah, okay. uh, yeah. I'll, I'll let them know. And uh, uh, right now we're planning on three vendors uh, we had said uh, Bowls Boys Barbecue. Uh, we talked about Connie's Hot Dogs. And the third one was going to be our coffee lady, uh, especially on Saturday. So I don't know do if she'll be, huh? Is she still going to do it? Uh, I'm not sure. I need to talk to her and uh, just to see whether or not she can come in and make sure we get that done. So, uh, uh, so anyway, I wanted to mention that with the uh, slips that went out this past month. And then the last one, and I hope everybody read this one, but this was the uh, Town of Bell Recycling. Everybody see that? And, uh, you know, the recycling bin is ready to go. Uh, we did tell everybody that, you know, you can use this recycling bin during the day from 8.30 till 4 o'clock. And 8.30, we usually have it opened up about 8 o'clock or so, about every morning with Kevin going in and going to work. Unless we're just not, unless Kevin's off or something that day. And usually he locks the gate around 4.30. It's been kind of off here lately just because of the contractor that we've had and them keeping things over there. Uh, we will continue to do the last Friday of the month. And so we'll still have our guys going around last Friday of the month and picking those things up. Uh, we did put class one, class two plastics, paper, cardboard. We ask you to break those down and then aluminum cans, and there's not really a marking for aluminum cans, but if you would take aluminum cans, I think Adam and has been putting them in the paper section. Yeah. And uh, so we do not take glass or canned food uh, cans or anything like that. So, uh, you know, we'd ask anyone at all to be utilizing the recycle. Uh, we have some of the new blue tubs that we've had for years. Uh, we do have some, uh, bags and we have uh, the stands for the bags for your houses and things like that so if you have one fine if you don't come on by and tell Lynn or, or uh, Lynn and uh, Kelly that you need one and they'll take care of you we're trying to keep track of those and everything right now um, with the uh, grant we got we had a grant of twenty two thousand I think four hundred dollars and uh, so actually I was at DEP today and finished up the uh, grant <coughs> application and finished, I think, all the necessary paperwork that we were okayed with the grant and, and uh, we're eligible for another grant if we'd like to go get one. So, uh, so I think we're uh, in pretty good shape with DEP and, uh, but uh, everything I think has been done, everything's in. I spent a little time in John's office yesterday making copies of bank statements and everything. So. Uh, had to get those from 22 up through May of 23, when we actually paid for the VN, which was uh, $10,341. So the only other thing we had to do, we did have to insure. Uh, so I did bind the insurance as of August 1st, and on that VN, so that was actually sent in the DEP, so all that's been done. So, so I think we should be in pretty good shape. Uh, next thing, town attorney, Ray, anything at all? Good? All right. So items from council. We'll start down on this end. Jacob? Uh, I don't have anything. Okay. Nicole? Nothing else for me. Melanie? A couple things. Um, we need to probably, or do we know when we're going to have open gym? I've been contacted mm -hmm. about that too. Um, 
Usually we start it back normally the week or so after school gets started. Uh, so if we're going to get started here, let's just say next Monday, uh, then maybe we need to, uh, uh, you know, set something up in a couple of weeks. And I don't know. I'll ask Elaine. Elaine, any any time within two weeks after school starts, is that good for you? Um, I can't start it that weekend of the, the 21st. I'm going to be camping that week. That's when we want to start. So, <laughs> we're gonna be camping. you're going to be camping? Tim's going to have to go by himself. <laughs> it would probably be better to start after Labor Day. You want to set it up then the following week, the 11th, or what's everybody's wish? Is that good with you, Elaine? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Start going about the 11th? Of September? Yeah. Yeah. Do we want to try to do the uh, pretty much the same schedules with uh, what we ended with? Same schedule? Well, I got the schedule from Lynn. There's going to be a lot of rentals as far as the gym. I mean, not the gym, but the big meeting room. Yeah. So there's nothing scheduled for the gym as far as renting it or anything. So probably that would be okay. So if we go ahead and just uh, use the same schedules we did before for the gym, you good with that? Yeah, I'm fine. I do have a question go regarding ahead. that. Can I say that now? Or you'll you be sure can. Time? So, Tim's planning on going to Florida uh -huh. uh, after the car show, and you know, he usually works for me uh, one or two evenings uh -huh. if I have to work at the consignment store from just 4.30 to 5.30. So, if you know, when he's in Florida for two weeks, if one of these two can't work that one hour for me, can we put a note on the door to let them know 5.30? Yeah. Instead of 4.30 those days. Yeah, or if you want to just, just be like once Or if you want to just do that twice. for the week or whatever, we can change that to 5.30 starting <laughs> out, and then we'll change it to 4.30 uh, after, okay. after okay. Tim's back. Okay, I'll check and make sure exactly okay. when he'll be gone. Well, why don't you and Melanie and, we'll and yourself and Nicole work together and get this schedule done, and then that way we can save from the... Uh, uh, the 11th to the 25th or whatever, or whenever Tim's well, coming back. Just just do uh, or, or 5.30 do. in September, start 4.30 October. Yeah, yeah that works. Good. Vacation, the 22nd through the 30th of September. So just start yeah. the so 4.30 the, in October. So the 11th through the 29th, we'll do the 5.30. And then we'll do 4.30 starting October 1. Is that good? Yeah. Now are we going to 8 or 8.30? Uh, we'll, we'll stay with the 8 o'clock or so. Or is 8 what we doing well, right so Are we going to 8.30 or 8? Eight? Yeah, eight. 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 So we'll just keep okay. going to 8. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, so Melanie and uh, yourself and Nicole can get together and put that together. and So that all three of you looked at it and approved it and all that. And then we'll get that out for the uh, September 1st billings that go out to everybody. So. So if you will just get that together so we can get that out on September 1st. All righty. Uh, what else, Melanie? Um, I was contacted by Jennifer Denny. Um, she would like to do a step aerobic um, class. There's no charge for it. Um, she's wanting to get some hours in and everything. I told her I'd bring it before council and then um, it's going to run about a half hour. Um, she can start him out as far as if she doesn't have very many people, she can use the big meeting room if it's not, you know. But I told her we would have to get the schedule together for the gym and everything to, you know, before we could actually schedule that in. Uh, and I told her I'd get back with her and let her know. But she doesn't want to, you know, it's going to be a free class and it's basically an exercise class. Um, and she would like to do it in the morning time at 11 or around 5. I know we got a lot. Are you going to have uh, Weight Watchers coming up this time? Yeah, on Thursdays. Okay, on Thursdays. She said Monday or Friday would be good for her, but any day she said that we could work her in. 
So why don't we do the Monday night at five? We were doing those dance classes there, right? That would be fine. Let's, let's just <laughs> shoot, shoot for Monday at five. I don't think Sherry's going to do a dance class. I don't think she's either. Yeah, I don't think she's either. No, she's either. So Friday at five? Monday, 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 Monday. Yeah. Because we got to make sure, you know, still remember that either on the Thursday or Friday, Adam and them still need to set up tables and chairs for the, for the hoopla. Yeah. The best man ever. Best man ever. We're still trying to decide. <laughs> when do we want to start that? The... Um, I'll get back with her okay. and then I'll let everybody know. Let's just say anytime after September 11th. You know. okay. So let's just schedule her with everything else. Yeah, that whatever, whatever we can get done there. That way we don't have to do anything extra or anything else. And we can get started when we get started. Good deal. And Linda wants to work on that gym one more time before we get started. So, so she's trying to get that done. And then she's, she wants to come into here and work in here. And I told her that you know, she probably need to just get the, the guys to come in and set all the chairs out in the hallway and leave them out there two or three days and everything in this room. And I'm going to bring this up and I may be open with can of worms, but I, I feel like that we need to do something for these people. Um, <coughs> Connie, not Connie, Lois is in the hospital right now. Um, not doing very well at all. Lois is the one that kind of put together her and Clarence the bands. She gets the band Friday schedules and on the Friday nights. Um, I'd like to get a card for council and just let everybody sign it and send it to her. Uh, and also, I think that we should invite them, not everybody in the world, but her and Clarence, I think we should invite them to the Christmas dinner and the Thanksgiving dinner just because of the, as a thank you. They don't get paid for it. They come out here at five o'clock, you know, and give their own time. Um, they've made the bill quite a bit of money. Um, you know, we've gotten, <clears throat> we've been able to buy chairs and some tables uh, out of their money. You know, it's not their money, it's the town's money, but I mean, and they, they've been very, you know, welcoming to do that. Um, so I, I just think that that would be a good, Lois well, well, would get invited anyway because she does here. Yeah. Clarence was, but we can invite Clarence. Yeah. I think that would just be a, you know, and I'll, I'll actually do Do you want to get a card just leave it here in the office and we'll have everybody just stop in there sometime? Yeah. Like over the next three or four days? That yeah. goes with everybody? Yeah. yeah. And, and uh, she's not doing so if you can get it tomorrow or something, yeah. bring it up, won't you just send just out a text send to everybody yeah, we'll on our text yeah. and let us know that. Hey, the car's been purchased. It's in the office with Lynn and Kelly. Okay. So if you go by and sign, we can get the, uh, you know, Adam and all of them to sign it. And the, uh, uh, Lynn and Lynn and Kelly, Linda, Elaine, okay. everybody here. So, yeah, that'd be great. Because I think everybody's kind of involved in that project. Yeah. One way or another. Yeah. Yeah, and we really appreciate Either that or Adam and them just like, hey, do I put them up in there? Or take them <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Tell me what to do. I wish we could do something easier, Adam. I really do, but I just haven't yeah, figured it out. If you figure it out, you let me know. There's no really. way, is there? <laughs> no. There'd be a floating floor <laughs> where you just <laughs> take them in that on floating yeah. floors. Yeah. We don't have that. It's not the Civic Center. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, I appreciate that, and that would be great. What else? That's all I have. Is that all? That's all. <laughs> John, anything? You've been gone a couple of weeks. You haven't thought of anything? Uh, yeah. You can think of anything. No. Like, oh, you're on vacation. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, sir. Nothing for me. Okay. Nothing. Okay. All righty. Next thing is uh, approval for visitors to address council. Somebody want to put that form of a motion? I'll make a motion. Okay. I'll make a motion. Second. Second. Okay. okay. All those in favor signify the same now? Aye. And I'm just going to just ask, who, who's got anything? Anybody? Adam, do you have anything, Mike? I don't really. 
really. <laughs> Thanks for coming out. Yes. Yeah. All right. Yes. I'm sorry. Um, who, who's that? You had your turn. Who's over the uh, beautification now? No, uh, right now, Mark's Mark. taking care of that. Okay, yeah. I'll talk to you. He's, he's got. Uh, uh, He's got about 10 uh, budget revisions he needs done. <laughs> and, uh, Another $10,000. And, and Ms. Blue and them will uh, need to sit down and talk to Mark a little bit, tell them a little bit about what they've been doing, and uh, so you might catch him before we get out of here. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. 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 If not, we can uh, do that. So. All righty. The next thing then is uh, I want to try to take us into an executive session. Uh, executive session is probably going to be about 10 minutes. If anybody wants to stay, and uh, then we'll probably come back out and uh, I don't know that we'll have a vote or anything after that, but uh, need to probably go into it for 10, 10 15 minutes. Somebody will put that form of a motion. Okay. I'll second. I'll John, save my Melanie. All those in favor of seeing five say aye. Aye. Any opposed? All right. We'll ask everyone. Session again. Uh, we uh, had an executive session. We came back out. We are back in regular session. Uh, the one thing is uh, the employment. Oh, yeah. Sorry. We do need a motion second to come out of executive session. So moved. So moved. We have a second. I'll second. Second. All those in favor signify to say aye. Aye. The only other thing was the uh, appointment of Johnny D. Walls the second as a uh, town police officer. I uh, need a uh, motion. Part-time. Huh? Part-time. Yeah, part-time policeman. So I need a motion to hire Johnny Walls part-time. So moved. So moved by John. Do we have a second? I'll second. Second by Melanie. All those in favor say five say aye. Aye. With that being said, that's everything I've got on the agenda. Motion to adjourn. So, so moved. So moved by Jacob. Do we have a second? Second. Second by Nicole. All those in favor say five say aye. Aye. All right, we'll stand adjourned. Thank you all.